How's it going everyone? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we have a very special ration. This is one from Russia. This is a Russian military guard ration. They give this to the military guards. This particular one, despite the date on it, is actually a 2016 production model and I'm going to show you why here in a few minutes. Okay, so we're going to go and open it up. I did cut the tape on it. It came totally sealed. I wanted to make sure nothing was exploded inside. It wasn't, didn't have a terrible huge amount of packing on it. Before we start, this MRE did come from Lithuanian Post. The guy that runs Lithuanian Post has been really good to me. Uh, he cuts me pretty good deals on these. Uh, obviously, as much deals he cut because they're heavy packages and they're coming from Lithuania. Uh, he gets the stuff out of different countries. Uh, real good guy. Everything always comes correctly. There's no funny business with anything. He sends it out when he says. Uh, it takes... This one took about two or two and a half weeks to get to Missouri from Lithuania. So not really too bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open this guy up. And I think this is probably the stove. We'll do that very last. We'll go through the bottom of this thing and see. Uh, first of all, I have a beef stew. Uh, this beef stew, I did some reviews on it. It's supposed to be pretty damn good. Uh, and these all get heated over the little the little uh, camp stove with the fuel pellet. And next up, this has three main entrees. This is a 24-hour ration. Uh, the next up, we have the kasha. It's spelled K-W-A. It's pronounced kasha. Uh, we have two of these kashas in here. I'm guessing that one is a beef and one is probably pork. And this one has a production date of uh, 6-25-2015. So it'll be 2016 edition an expiration date is 6 24 2018 uh so at this point we won't know that until we open it up i did some research on this this ration is extremely rare and it's very hard to research on there's a limited amount of information for it and next up we have crackers we have three packs here we have three packs here six packs of crackers so a huge amount of crackers in this one uh next up we have a pate uh, this has a manufacture date of 6-11-2015 and expiration of 6-10-2018. Uh, we have another pate in here. I'm guessing these are pate. We don't know for sure until we open them up. It's even hard to Google search on a ration that there's not many out there because I don't speak Russian. It's hard to type that into Google, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, this one's the same way. It's uh, manufactured date is 6 11 2015. Expiration is 6 10 2018. We have, I presume, is what is two bags of tea. They're both exactly the same thing, the same number. And there's no particular expiration date that I could decipher on these. We'll set those aside for right now. We have three packs of sugar. Uh, I'm not really sure what you use sugar for besides your tea. I don't know if you need three packs. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Uh, we have a piece of candy. And it looks like uh, possibly a pear on there. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And we have two drinks in here. We have what looks to be orange and maybe a lemon-lime type drink. Uh, there again, these are really hard to... Uh, look up on Google. You guys that have done these already probably laughing at me. I did try to find, uh, this is actually a liquid and this is a powder. I might do a little more research on this and uh, see exactly what this is. Okay. So we did figure out this is an apple butter or apple jelly type situation, not a drink. So this is also not that this is actually just a drink. This is powdered as you can see here, maybe, um, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this box out of the way for right now and try to get this started. Open this up. It feels like fuel tabs, but no stove. Uh, let's just see what exactly is in here. And it does have a stove, my bad. And it's kind of weird smells like fish. The fuel tabs are just laying in this. There's three of them. But what I don't see in this pack, I don't see any matches. You know, all we have is paper towels. 
it wasn't opened. I guess it just, I don't know. Maybe this is just a little bit different ration. Uh, usually they have matches in them. Usually they have some type of chocolate uh, dessert type stuff in them. And this one doesn't have any of that. But that being said, since it's not a actual military ration, it's more of a prison guard ration, that could be why. Something else I noticed too, there's no utensils in this. There's no fork, no spoon, no nothing. It's kind of odd. But we'll keep pushing on here. They did give you napkins, which is kind of funny. We'll go and keep pushing on here. We're going to get our piece of candy back over here in our side dish. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and open up these two sides. That look to be a pate. Uh, usually these are liver, beef, or pork, or anything in between. Let's go ahead and uh, get this guy cranked open here. And that is exactly what it is. That smells like it could have some, almost like a bunch of garlic in it. And let's verify that these are not the exact same thing. And these are the exact same thing. Exact, uh, exactly. So we'll probably just leave one of these out and not open it up right now. Maybe we'll save it for later. But it's definitely a very pungent smell. Got some odd spices I'm not really too familiar with in that. Let's go ahead and get our, our napkins over there for right now. All the crackers are the same. We just inspected those. Uh, I don't see any date. None of these are broken, which tells me they're probably pretty hard. Uh, but they should all be current date. More of a hard tack type biscuit situation than an actual little cracker. So we're going to get one of these out of here. There don't seem to be any salt on it, but these aren't made to be eaten plain. I think these are made to be eaten with all this other stuff. It smells good. Almost like a like a sweet bread kind of cracker. Uh, we're going to get our apple butter type stuff out here. And I think for spillage purposes, we're just going to take this. Go down here and just snip that off. Put that off to the side. And we already kneaded up a little bit here. Let's just squeeze a little bit out onto our cracker. Looks like that's exactly what that is. Apple butter type situation. Let's sit him off to the side here for a minute. Whoops. Already got all over everything. I'll take a little taste of it while we did that. I tell you what, I just had that MRE. Actually, I don't think the video is up of it yet. I need to put that up this evening. Uh, the maple sausage. And it came with the American version of this. This version is so much better. You can just tell there's the preservatives, if there is any in it, is so much better. That being said, let's go ahead and get a glass out. I don't know how much this drink makes. So we're going to start off with this and we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to mix her up here. Okay, we're going to go and slice her drink mix open. We're going to pour it in this glass. Let's go ahead and just... Snip her off there. Some very large sugar crystals in it. Not a lot of color to it. What I've read, a lot of the Russian drinks don't use all the artificial coloring. They don't use red number 40, which is supposedly supposed to cause cancer. And you can see, overall, it's just white. It smells of like a real fruit can't quite tell if it's orange or not. Let's go ahead and uh, I don't smell orange. Pour that in there. Let me get a spoon. We'll stir it. We'll leave it. We'll come back to it. Okay, so I think it's more of an apricot drink at this point. Yeah, it smells like apricot uh, instead of orange. So I guess next, let's go ahead and get a coffee cup out here and make some tea. We got two packs of tea here, exactly alike. We're just gonna fix one, of course. There's no coffee in here either. It's kind of odd. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking this might be coffee. We're about to find out right now because it don't feel like there's any kind of tea bag in it. I 
don't know, weird. It smells a little bit like coffee. It doesn't smell like much of anything. I can see large crystals like it has sugar in it. We're just going to dump her in here and see what it is. Stir up her drink again. I'm pretty sure this is an apricot drink. You would think if it was coffee, you'd be able to package and know right away what it was. But if it's freeze dried, which probably is what it is, you can't. No, it's definitely tea. Like a tea with sugar already in it, perhaps. Okay, so I think we're going to do, uh, while this stuff's hot, we're going to just taste this stuff and then go on to the main entrees. and have three of those. So let's go ahead and taste this. Definitely tea, pre-sweetened tea, uh, the way it tastes. Actually, pretty decent. Uh, we'll go ahead and go on to our pate. This has a pretty strong smell. Kind of a, looks like a cat feed type situation here. Whoops. Possibly liver, pate. Pretty strong tasting. I'm not sure that's quite my thing. I'll have to try again here at the end and see. I'll try out our apple butter real quick. Apple butter is really good. More of a a real apple taste than a preservative. Apple taste. And we started a drink up a couple different times here. Looks pretty decent. There's no sediments in the bottom. Let's take a drink and see. It just don't smell like much. Definitely apricot, for sure. Like a more of a real apricot instead of a fake taste to it. Like I said, they don't use. Uh, the red dye, the number 40 red dye, and that makes everything taste a lot better in my opinion and isn't so dense. Okay, so what we have here, I got a brick so I won't burn my little board. Put a Ziploc bag under it, get something dripped, I still want to get my thing all dirty. We're gonna going to, uh, we're going to use these Lithuanian, Lithuanian or Polish fuel tabs. They don't have any smell to them when they burn or very little. These other ones that came with the Russian ones smell like dead fish. And since we're indoors here, I'm afraid it's going to cause an issue and they're real greasy. These burn real clean and don't have much of a smell to them. So we need to figure out before we start off here. Uh, first of all, if this Kasha is the same from these two packs or not. It looks like it has nothing to do with each other whatsoever. And like I said, one's probably chicken, one's probably beef, or one's pork and beef more than likely, and then we have our beef stew. So we have three of our entrees. I'll probably go ahead and get these things cooking and <clears throat> switch off towards the end of one of the kashas and put the beef stew and heat it up. And we're gonna put it all in the tray and tray it all up after that. So let's go ahead and start off. We're gonna go do a, one of the kashas first. We're instead of pulling off, we're gonna take a razor knife. We're just gonna go around the edge of it and open it up. And these shouldn't be real soupy. Yeah, they're not. And these are a buckwheat porridge type situation. We'll leave it like that and we can put the lid down like that and let it cook. Let's go ahead and get our beef stew opened up. And this actually might be more of a, of a soupy thing here. 
cut around the edge with her knife. Okay. And you can see in there, it's literally beef stew. It smells really good. So it looks like it has a bay leaf on top and uh, a few other things in it here. Let's go and get our stoves lit up here. We're going to use our Lithuanian matches. And there are these little uh, purple tip. I think you guys might be out of focus here. There you go. Go ahead and light it and just lay it next to it. That didn't work. I have a candle lighter, but I like to do it with some kind of decent matches here. Whoops. Did it light or not? It's hard to say. Okay, that one lit. Not really what I was going for with that, but... And it seems like the, the bigger heater here that has the holes in the bottom burns a lot better. There we go, we got that lit. Let's go ahead and put our beef stew on the bigger one out of the two. And let's put our, let's slip it over here a little bit. Our kasha on this one. And we'll just let them heat up like that and come back in a few minutes. Okay, so we got everything heated up. We have all three entrees. And we're going to go ahead and plate this stuff up. First we have the kasha. One of the kashas. We're going to go ahead and kind of figure it out if I want to put it all in here or not. Let's see. It seems pretty thick. It cooled off a little bit. A little time elapsed since I heated it up and Started the video back up. It smells really good though. You can see it's a little bit burnt on the bottom. Which is funny because it didn't really cook it all that long. That's good enough for right now. And then here's our the other kasha, and you can tell right away this is a little bit different, that the uh, buckwheat is a little bigger in this. And if I was guessing, this is beef, it's a lot more drier, and the other one's a pork. Okay, and then we have our... beef stew you can see it has a bay leaf on top I'll go ahead and plate some of it up I won't plate all of it up and we had our little stoves going on here. I was talking. I turned around and the pellet slid out on my black board and it was still burning. And I quick grabbed it with a hot mitt and threw it outside. Luckily I was paying attention to it otherwise it would have uh, definitely gone bad. Okay so we put a little apple butter back out here. We're gonna go ahead and try some of this stuff and the tea I tasted it earlier. Pretty good, a lot of sugar in it. And we have our three packs of sugar. I'm not really sure what to use it for on this because the tea's already super sweet. You know, maybe they put a lot of the sugar in with this stuff. I really don't know. 
Let's go ahead and try the beef stew. It looks really good. And taste it once and see. It is pretty salty. More of a salt cure than preservative, more than likely. Really, really good. Let's try our, I believe, is pork kasha. I actually like that a lot. Let's go and try our beef. It's a bigger chunk of it in here. Some kind of almost nuts in it, or what exactly it is. A little bit different taste. I'm not quite sure. It's like a a bigger grain of it's not buckwheat or what the deal is. This is tremendously better, and so is this than this. It's a little different taste altogether of it. I'm grabbing, bringing in for some close-ups here. This is the beef stew. It probably doesn't look very appetizing in the picture, but it actually is. The beef tastes really good in it. That's what we believe is the uh, the pork kasha. It's a lot more moist, a lot finer grain. It's like it probably has some rice in it too. And this is the, I believe, is the beef. And it's a lot heavier chunks. A lot nuttier tasting, uh, not as soft, you might say. Go over and take a look at our apple butter or butter or apple jelly, you might say, whatever it translates to. And then our pate, which had a strong scent whenever I first opened it up, but now that it's been open, it has no scent. We're going to our apricot uh, drink here. Seems like it's a more natural apricot flavor. Not a lot of dye to it. It's more of a clear orange instead of a real bright orange. Then over to our tea. The tea is a pre-sweetened tea. Super sweet. Okay, and we'll go ahead and try our candy out. It looks like pear, actually. According to the pictures on the front. It's a little bit melted, not terribly bad. Try to get her opened up here. And it's green. Kind of a clear green color. Doesn't smell like anything. Alright, so it doesn't really have much of a flavor to kind of a citrus kind of taste to it. But I never had pear candy before, so I really don't have anything to compare it to. But yeah, it's, you know, overall a pretty pretty good meal. Uh, I would give it probably a 9 out of 10. And that's it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. There'll be some more, at least one more rare uh, Russian MRE coming up here in the next few days, hopefully. And we're back to doing some of our... Uh, US MREs, our Sapaco, our Eversafe stuff. We have quite a bit of stuff to go through. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.